So just relaxing in Shavasana, feeling the back body resting on the mat, resting fully supported by the earth. And perhaps as you settle in, just take a nice big deep inhalation, a nice cleansing breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you say, ah. And let's do that again. Let's take another one, a nice big deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and really settle in on the exhale. Ah. And just begin to let go of what came before this moment and what will come after this moment. And tune in to the breath, just being in the present moment, in the now. So just watching the breath on the inhalation, watching it move all the way in and all the way out, just like an ocean wave. All you're doing is being an observer, no need to change anything about the breath, just follow it all the way in. See it change from an inhalation to an exhalation and follow it all the way out. Just seeing if you can stay with the breath, really focused on the breath. With each exhalation, allow yourself to release just a little bit more. And if the mind begins to drift away from the breath, just notice that. Say to yourself, I'm thinking. Acknowledge that you're thinking. Allow the thoughts to be there. And then let the thoughts just drift away and return back to your breath. Just inhaling and exhaling. So our focus this morning is going to be on opening the hips. So the hips store a lot of emotion, a lot of tension. And when we open the hips and kind of work on those hip joints, the entire body feels kind of refreshed, relaxed, less tension. So that's our focus this morning. So we'll begin as we do, as we always do, floating our arms up over our heads and just stretch out through the fingertips and down through the body and out through the toes, bringing whatever amount of tension you'd like to bring today. If you're just waking up and you wanna be gentle, be more gentle. If you want to really extend and stretch out, do what feels good for your body today. And also as we begin, notice how your body is feeling, you know, sometimes even scanning down through the body as you're in this stretch and just noticing if there's any places that are holding more tension or feel stuck and just notice, just observe and make note of it. And then we'll look at the body at the end of our practice. So we're not forcing anything, we're just working out any tightness in the body this morning. 
If you have brought tension as you're stretching out, release and allow the arms to be soft, allow the legs to be soft. Relax for a moment, even take another deep breath in. Releasing tension on the exhalation. And then we're going to float the arms down by our sides and bend our knees, placing the soles of our feet on the mat. Press the lower back, the sacrum into the mat. Feel grounded, feel yourself supported. And then we'll take the knees into the air, the feet into the air and hold on in front of the shins. And we'll begin to um, rock a little bit. We're gonna do a little rock and roll. Um, if it's not comfortable, then you can just stay, you know, kind of stationary on your back and make small circles on the ceiling as we have done before and make your circles gradually bigger. But we're going to, if you'd like, lift your head and shoulders up and we're going to rock to and fro. So really, you know, rocking the back, massaging the back as we do this. You can even come all the way up and rock all the way back. And just do this if it's comfortable. But this is really great for our backs. Using your breath. We'll do this, you know, 10 or 12, 15 times. I'm not counting, but And bring yourself to stillness whenever you'd like. And if you have rocked, like we just did rock and roll, bring your knees to your chest and rock from side to side. And then you can place your hands on your kneecaps and make some small circles in one direction and some small circles in the opposite direction. And then we'll bring the knees towards our chest on the exhale, push them away on the inhale, and we'll just do that movement four or five times. Keep the breath flowing gently. And then we'll place the soles of the feet on the mat. We'll take that left ankle and cross it over the right thigh. And we'll lift the right foot into the air and bring that right thigh towards us as we clasp behind our right thigh. And our head and neck can relax on the mat. We can keep them on the mat. And just draw that right thigh towards you on your exhales. So just opening up that left hip a little bit, you'll feel the stretch, I'm sure. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your facial muscles and your jaw. So no need to bring tension to the rest of the body. Just draw that right thigh in and try to be relaxed every place else and use your breath. Exhale as you draw that right thigh in. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. And then release. Uncross the ankle and take the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Bring that left foot into the air so that your left thigh is closer to you and clasp behind that left thigh. Using your breath, drawing your left thigh in. Check in with your facial muscles. 
in your neck and your shoulders again and try to relax them. Feel that right hip flexor where we hold a lot of emotion, a lot of tightness many times. And then release the left foot down and uncross the right ankle. And we'll take our feet as wide as our mat, like the left foot to the edge of the left side, the right foot to the right side, and we'll just windshield wiper the knees, both the knees going in the same direction, but coming up to center and then exhaling to whichever side you're on. Notice how your hip flexors are feeling. So body awareness. And then we'll take the soles of our feet together, press the soles of the feet together with the knees out wide and inhale your arms up overhead, press the sacrum into the mat. So the lower back into the mat and just take a nice big deep breath here. We've kind of opened up our lung area, nice and open. So created space, <sighs> exhale and sink into your mat. Even close your eyes. Take a few rounds of breath. See if you can relax your forehead, relax the cheeks and cheekbones, relax your jaw, relax your throat center, allow your shoulders to be heavy on the mat. Just watch the rise and fall of your chest. And if your eyes were closed, just flutter them open, float your arms down towards your thighs, take your hands on the outside of your thighs, close your knees like a book. And we're going to come over to our bellies now. So you can either just turn over or you can push yourself up and then come down onto your belly or I'm going to rock myself up and then I'm going to turn and come on to my belly. So we will bring our forehead down to the mat, rock your hips from side to side and get them comfortable. Bring your forehead to the mat, place your hands on either side of your face. Bring your elbows in close to your body. Spread your fingers wide. Extend through your toes, like extend your legs away from the top of the mat. So kind of stretch them out towards the lower end of the mat to bring some space. And on your next inhalation, press into your pubic bone and into the tops of your feet as you bring your shoulders chest and chin up off the mat. So we're gazing 
down and slightly in front of our mat, pressing into our elbows. Our shoulders are away from our ears, pressing into our pubic bone and into the tops of our feet for sphinx. On your next exhalation, exhale down to your mat, your forehead down, and then inhale, your head and shoulders up again. On your next exhale, exhale your forehead down to the mat. Inhale, back up. Exhale down, the forehead down to the mat. Slide your hands under your shoulders now. So slide the hands back a little bit. Bring the elbows in towards the body. And on your next inhale, press up to cobra. And it can be baby cobra. You don't have to come all the way up. Just come up as far as is comfortable. Exhale down. Forehead down. Press into the mat with the hands, the pubic, not so much the hands, more the pubic bone and the tops of the feet. You know, we're using the hands for stability. So on your next inhale, press up to cobra. Come up as far as is comfortable. Exhale down. And when we come up this third time, we're going to stay up and notice the stretch in the front of the body. It should feel good. On your next inhale, come up. So shoulders away from the ears. Feel that nice stretch in the front body. Exhale down. Bring the hands down beside you with the palms facing up towards the sky. And we'll come into locust. We'll take a minute here to release into the mat. So on your next inhalation, you're going to lift your head and shoulders up, lift your hands an inch or two off the mat, and lift your feet an inch or two off the mat, pointing out through your toes, stretching down through your fingertips, pressing into your pubic bone, okay? So on the next inhalation, lift, think lift. We're holding here. We're gazing down towards the mat, strengthening our back, strengthening our arms and legs. Exhale down, the forehead down to the mat, hands and feet back down to the mat. Take a breath. Again, we'll come up to locust. So on your next inhalation, lift, think lifting, head and shoulders, arms and legs extending the fingertips down towards the bottom of the mat, which will help our shoulders come away from our ears, stretching out through our, our toes. Feel the strength in your body. Exhale down. And then on our next inhale, we'll come up again and we'll hold. Inhale up. So head, shoulders, arms, legs, extending through our fingertips, extending through our toes. Feel the strength in our back body. Come down at any time, but stay for a little bit if your body allows. Keep the breath flowing so we don't want to hold our breath. and release everything down to the mat. Take a nice deep breath here. <sighs> Exhale out. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Curl your toes under. We're going to bring ourselves up and we're going to push ourselves back into uh, child's pose. So bring the big toes together. Bring the knees out as wide as the mat and then sit back on the heels. Walk the hands forward and bring the forehead down to the mat. So extended child. If this isn't comfortable, you can bring your knees together 
and bring your hands beside your body with the palms facing up and the shoulders rolling towards the mat. That's a really nice comfortable pose, but since we're working on hips, um, having our knees wide might encourage a little bit of flexibility, more flexibility in our hips. But, but listen to your own body, of course. And just focus on the breath for a few rounds here. Allow yourself to release. And even bring a little bit of movement from side to side with your hips and just notice how that feels. Feel the length of the spine. And on your next inhalation, you can lift your head up and come up to table. So we'll come into a nice, easy cat cow here. So drop the belly, gaze forward. Notice where the shoulders are, hopefully away from your ears. Send your heart center forward. Round the back on your exhalation, pressing away from your mat. And just come into a nice, easy flow at your own pace. Noticing the flexibility in the spine. Use the breath. And then bring yourself to table as you're ready. We'll engage our core here. So bring the belly button in and up towards the diaphragm. We'll extend the right leg out, extend the left fingertips forward for a cat balance. Really stretch out through the fingertips and stretch out through the toes. The right hand, the fingers are spread wide. Release change that arm and leg so left toes back right fingertips forward extend through the fingertips extend through the toes keep the breath flowing release we're going to come into a low lunge so we'll bring that left foot in between the hands as we walk the right knee back. So we're getting a stretch in that left hip flexor. So you can stay down here with your fingers, your fingertips tented. And just take a breath or two. So we're kind of gazing down and forward. So we don't, we want to keep a nice long spine. And then heel toe your left foot towards the edge of the mat, towards the left, and bring that left hand on the inside, the instep side of the left foot, and place both palms on the mat. If you're very flexible, you can bring your elbows down to the mat. So this is lizard. So we're just sinking into that left hip to give our left hip a nice opening. So if your hips are especially tight, bring your breath to any place you might feel like a little pinching, but don't, you know, you don't want to have any pain, of course, but just sink into that left hip. You know, you'll feel a little bit of, you know, tightness, I, I guess I would say, if you're like me. <laughs> 
but it should feel good when we're done. We'll feel open and stretched. And then we'll walk our hands back and straighten that left leg, come up onto the left heel, bring the nose towards the left knee. And then we're going to change and bring our right foot forward. So just um, bring that left foot back as best you can and bring the right foot in between the hands. Walk the left knee back, sink into that right hip. So a low lunge and see if you can keep that spine long. So from the crown of the head down to the tail. So I'm up on my fingertips here. You may be doing the same just so that your torso is long, your spine is long, instead of hunching over. And then we're going to bring our right hand on the inside of the right foot, place our palms on the mat, and if you can't do this, um, if you had blocks, you know, next time, if you have something you could place your hands up on so that you can bring the earth closer to you. <laughs> so we'll sink into the right hip here for lizard. And we'll take a few breaths here and just feel, you know, any tightness there loosening, bring the breath to that place of tightness to allow that right hip flexor to open up a little bit more. Keep the breath flowing, relax into the stretch. And then we'll kind of walk that right hand behind us and come back to table. We'll walk our hands towards our knees, push up onto our toes. And if you would like to come to Malasana, you can place a blanket under your heels if you'd like. So spreading the feet wide with the toes pointing diagonally away from each other. Press the elbows into the knees. Bring your hands into prayer. And so, you know, you want to sink the tailbone down towards the earth. Relax the shoulders. So women in the fields would often take this posture as they were picking, <laughs> picking vegetables and things. So it's a posture that is well known. And then we'll place our hands on the mat, kind of push into the hands as we straighten the legs, bring the feet hip width apart, hold on to the elbows and allow the knees to be bent a little bit and sway from side to side for ragdoll. So knees are bent, head towards the earth, the crown of the head towards the earth, bringing length to the spine. And if you're swaying from side to side with the hips, bring yourself to center, to stillness, and then shake your head yes. Shake your head no. And then we're going to 
Let go of our elbows. Let the fingers graze the earth. And then we'll slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time until we come to Tadasana. The head is the last thing to come up. I'm just going to adjust my uh, screen a little bit. Okay, so we'll come into warrior one here. So we're going to turn to the short end of our mat, bring our left foot forward, bring our right foot back, and we can be having our, have our, having our feet placed kind of diagonally from one another so that we're not on a tight rope. And just find the stance that is comfortable, you know, how much your back foot is back. Feel the earth underneath the soles of your feet. Press into the mat. Inhale your arms up so that the elbow creases are near your ears. And then on the exhale, bend the front knee. So relax the shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the tailbone a little bit. Press into the heel of the back foot and the big toe of the front foot for warrior one. Cross the hands in front of the chest. Turn the torso to the long end of the mat. The back foot is going to come parallel. The front foot is going to stay as is. Extend the arms out so that they're parallel to the earth. And then exhale and bend the front knee. So gazing out over that middle front finger, relax your shoulders, feel the strength in your legs. See if you can sink a little deeper on your exhales. Turn the palms towards the ceiling, raise the hands up an inch or two Turn the palms towards the earth. Bring the hands down an inch or two as you relax your shoulders. Feel the strength in your legs. Keep the breath flowing. Float the hands down. Straighten that front leg. Bring the feet parallel and then turn both feet towards the other side of the mat, the short end of the mat. And you can shorten your stance a little bit, whatever is comfortable. We'll take warrior two, uh, warrior one on this side. So inhaling the arms up. As you exhale, bend the front knee. So the hips are square to the uh, short end of the mat. And on your exhale, see if you can sink a little bit deeper. Press into the back heel and the front big toe mound. Feel the strength in this pose. Cross the arms over the chest. Turn the torso towards the long end of the mat. Left foot will come parallel to the short end of the mat. Front toes, right toes are still pointing towards the short end. Extend the arms out so they're parallel to the earth. Bend the front knee as you gaze out towards that middle front finger. Relax the shoulders. Feel the strength in the legs. And on each exhalation, see if you can sink just a tiny bit more, keeping that right knee over the right ankle. Feel the strength. Kind of engage the core and tuck the tailbone. Turn the palms towards the ceiling. Raise the hands up an inch or two. Turn the palms towards the earth as you relax your shoulders and allow your arms to come down an inch or two parallel to the earth. Float the arms down, uh, straighten the front leg, bring the feet parallel, heel, toe, heel, toe, the feet together. We'll 
inhale our arms up, gaze up at the sky, extend through the fingertips, turn the palms away from each other, floating forward, leading with the chin and the chest. As we come forward, you can have a micro bend in the knees. We'll take ragdoll again, so hold on to your elbows, swing your hips, swing your arms, your forearms from side to side. And bring yourself to center. Place your hands on either side of your feet. Come down to your knees. And as you make your way back to your mat, onto your back, bring your knees into your chest and just rock it out a little bit. Rock from side to side. Placing your hands on your kneecaps, you know, make your circles on the ceiling, whatever you need to do to bring comfort to your body before you rest in Shavasana. You can make some very large circles and really touch the shoulders. You'll feel the shoulders against the mat. Nice and loose. And when you're ready, bring yourself to stillness with your body in Shavasana. And if you'd like, you can bend your legs and allow the knees to support each other. You can also roll a towel or a blanket and place it under your knees, which is a nice release, nice feeling. And once you find your way to Shavasana, make yourself completely comfortable. So wiggle, wiggle in and find a nice comfortable Shavasana. And once you're there, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your nose, as you settle the body. Notice how your body is feeling. So scan, scan the body from the crown of the head to tips of the toes. And just make note of how the body feels. Stopping a little bit, a little bit longer at the hips and notice if they feel a little heavier and a little more loose. They feel relaxed, so heavier on the mat. And if that's not the case, we're just gathering information. So perhaps we can work on the hips again. In most, most of our yoga poses, we are working on the hips. We're helping the hips open up in many, many poses. So we'll just continue on our journey. So I'm going to ring my bowl. And you can just relax as you are. If you'd like to bring your hands to your heart center, place one hand, right hand on your chest, and then place your left hand on top. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.